There are a million reasons why this type of work is so important and they all come down to the fact that the arts are such a wonderful vehicle for creating dialogue, especially about hard issues to tackle that you don't feel you can just talk about. It's much better to explore them in a playful, creative way. Personal discussions as well as wider ones and for wider audiences. It's such a wonderful platform and it's, it's really, really, really important. <laughs>for inspire, create, exchange. There are three main aims of the ICE project. The first one is for young people to participate in arts and culture, and by doing that we think that that can really lift your mood, it can make you feel better, it's really important to be able to just get lost in something creative. The second aim is around using the arts as a tool to actually explore or express different ideas, opinions, um, maybe even challenging ideas that, that we want to really work through. And the third aim is around giving young people uh, an opportunity to showcase and share what they've made with other people, so to give them a platform to share those, those ideas about the important issues that they've chosen. Hampshire Campus was very excited about the opportunity to collaborate um, with an arts organisation. We've used arts in different ways over the years to show how it, beneficial it is for people's psychological and emotional health and well-being. And this kind of felt like the next step. How does the use of the arts have an impact and how can it help with people managing just generally in life in terms of their resilience, their health and well-being, using it to build confidence and social skills, basically thinking about also for young people that access our service, about how it could be used as part of discharge planning and about how they, they manage and, and, and don't kind of fall into a kind of relapse. We met in August when we had the Inspire Day and from then on we've had about 15 weeks worth of learning camera skills, taking different photographs and ultimately we've had our own exhibition. Um, I was referred to the project by CAMS and the first time it was suggested to me I didn't want to come. I only did it because my psychotherapist suggested that I try it and I didn't want to let her down. Well I was discharged from CAMS a couple of weeks ago now and leading up to it I was quite nervous. I didn't know what I'd be doing afterwards and the fact that I've had something that keeps going after it, something that I've learned that I know I can carry on with, so photography, has been really helpful in that and I know now that I will always have some form of photography, and which is why I've learned here, and that will always help in the future. We've had um, three different groups of young people from CAMS who've been referred um, into groups to take part in activity. Uh, so they're our core groups of CAMS young people. And then we've got 10 different groups across Hampshire um, from different youth organisations um, who support young people who are perhaps going through something that is a little bit more challenging or difficult in their lives at the moment. So we wanted to give them an opportunity to really have something um, engaging and, and creative to do. And then the third strand is around mainstream activity and creating a resource um, that can be sent out via primary and secondary schools that's around positive messaging about how to look after yourself. I think that it has um, made us like kind of our own little community like we've all gotten to know each other a lot more and we've gotten close together throughout the whole process. So full of joy and happiness and I think that's really important in being able to feel accepted and feel like you really matter, especially um, if you're closeted and you can't tell people about who you are, it's really a good place to just feel like you can be yourself. I'm really proud of myself for the work I've done. I've never known I was capable of doing this kind of stuff. And I've made my own music and it's original, so I don't need to listen to other artists anymore. I listen to myself now. I am a superstar and I'm famous now. <laughs>
So in the NHS, what we tend to do is focus on very much what's in the clinic and people coming to us. And I think this was an opportunity to think differently, to be innovative, be creative and about how we work differently and how we capture and inspire young people in a different way. What we're not saying is that using the arts and culture is treatment or therapy. It's not, but it is another string to our armoury and it's another way to use and work with young people. Some people feel isolated and they are very young and they think they have no one and a place like this makes, helps them to make friends, to know new people, to come outside their house, to create, at the same time learn something uh, creative. They create their own things and they suggest the changes so the project evolves around them. So having the possibility of being able to direct things on your own way helps them build confidence and at the same time as I say they, they enjoy the company of others. The Ice Project is really I believe benefited all the young people we work with in different ways. It, you not only see them grow in confidence and self-esteem from not wanting to say their name um, or to not even looking at you or to swearing at you, <laughs> to then absolutely getting involved in a uh, creative process, um, acting out scenes, feeling important that they're being listened to and that their ideas count and then seeing that then transpire into something creative that they can then watch back or can interact with and collaborate with as well with us as practitioners and other young people and the other staff which has been a really benefiting experience as well because it's brought everyone together. Everyone's got creativity inside them, everyone's got something that they can bring to the world and express. They don't have to be scared to try it out and I feel like that really makes it even more of a community that we're all sharing our own inspiration to help each other's artwork. So in this first year of the project we've had over a hundred young people participate in really high quality meaningful arts activities and that's ranged from music to drama to art to photography, filmmaking, dance. So it's really fantastic that we've had such a range of practitioners involved in such a range of activity. In the same way that not all different therapy modalities fit an individual young person, the arts doesn't always fit and you know people will, will be excited and challenged and inspired by, by different mediums. Such a privilege and excitement to see the quality um, that we've that has come out of this and, and that's our young people, that's young people in Hampshire that have done that, aided by some fantastic professional artists, I have to say. But that's what they've done and this is the outcome and this is what can be achieved with the right involvement and the input. It's kind of like refreshing to have an environment where we get like praised for like, just expressing ourselves. So yeah. I think that's like not about like artistic like skill, it's about the like kind of thoughts behind it and that we are expressing ourselves and trying to just communicate a bit of ourselves onto the page. It's been fantastic to see young people across Hampshire really engage in the ICE project and to use it as an opportunity to explore some quite challenging issues and ideas, but best of all that young people are experiencing the benefits of creativity. I would say to anyone else that it, was, it will be helpful. It's going to give you something really interesting to do, it will give you something for the future and if there is the opportunity to do a project like this, just take it. Uh, I would definitely want to do something like this again because it's actually like something I've never really come across before. It kind of brings on like a more creative like twist and it really is quite therapeutic to like get out all of your like ideas on paper. I feel like this is a really good environment to bond with people who are similar with you and share your experiences but do it in a more relaxed way where almost like you don't have to feel the pressure put on you to talk about that specifically. You know, I would 100% do something like this every day if I could. I would do uh, it a million times over and I absolutely implore everyone uh, who has even slightest interest in this to just give it a shot because it is so rewarding. Thank you.